Amen. Amen. Is Amen. now and will, and be, will forever. be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Oh, come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God. And a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. And the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. And kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. Soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs. For the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height. God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Lord of hosts, hear my prayer. Hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. One day in your courts is better than a thousand in my own room. And to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. Mm. O Lord of hosts, happy are they who put their trust in you. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord. Sorry, there's a cat here. Oh. Thus says the Lord, sing aloud with gladness for Jacob and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise and say, save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth, among them the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor. Together, a great company, they shall return here. With weeping they shall come, and with consolations I will lead them back. I will let them walk by brooks of water in a straight path, in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him, and will keep him as a shepherd of flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their lives shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. 
I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land. Deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise. And his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light. And kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. And by day and night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord. The sign of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land. Ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation. And all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light. And your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 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 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe. The, the word, word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. You are God. We praise you. you. You are the Lord. We acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only son, worthy of all worship. And the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you become man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood. And bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Amen. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, again, wonderful passages of scripture today. Uh, but I, I wanted to focus on uh, Canticle 21, which is, which is a song uh, for, for all of us, right? Those of us who uh, have accepted Christ 
uh, and and we are taking on this uh, this this task of spreading the love of Christ. And I, I've been uh, uh, thinking uh, a great deal about you know how to convey uh, the message of Christ. And I was listening to you know, just listening to some good writers and thinkers talking about it. Uh, first of all, how to make God concrete in our lives and then share that, that, that feeling of the presence of God. And you see Canticle here uh, does a, a, an incredible job. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal father. All creation worships you. I think actually creation does worship, doesn't it? I mean, when you see what the moon and the stars do, you actually see there is a beautiful balanced dance of worship. It seems like the stars are more aware of the greatness of God than we are. Uh, and of course, Carolyn, when was that that we had uh, the uh, 700 year event? What was uh, that? That was December 21st. Look at that. And thank you for reminding us. You, but yeah, there are a lot of incredible things happening this year. Well, actually not this year, last year. And, and uh, as, we, as we got out of it, I think God is sending us on uh, a joyful journey, always with a struggle, right? Believers uh, always have to struggle to sustain good manners, right? And uh, in, in decency, in, in a world where it is easier to follow the way of the world, but you know that by the way, right? It is easier to follow the way of the world than to actually follow the way of Christ. Uh, and, and so we feel ourselves knowing that God is, uh, is the one guiding us. Um, and I was listening to maybe Andy Stanley and five other people uh, say one of the problems that we have, especially in the West, is people misunderstanding Christianity, right? So people have re are, are beginning to reject the church. In the U.S., around 23% uh, people say they call themselves the nuns. Has, has anybody ever heard that word? The nuns, they don't. Yeah, they they don't they don't belong to any any organized religion or anything. Uh, they they are going away from the church, and some people even call themselves atheists. And so some theologians were asking, "Well, what is it? What is it they are seeing?" And it turns out people have a false image of God. And one of the things we're going to do is, as as Christians. Feel free to share, you know, what God means to us. Uh, and, and one of the these writers was saying uh, that people have a concept of God that maybe they grabbed when they were growing up, but when they grew up, they did not embrace a mature spirituality. And so uh, when that God that they learned about is challenged, uh, then they, they give up, you know, they, they, they say, well, I, you know, I can't, I can't actually continue to believe this. But, but the, the God they thought that was the Christian God is not the God they, they are rejecting. And, and uh, one of the images he uses, uh, two of the writers use was uh, the, the bodyguard God, right? <laughs> we want God to be there, uh, you know, so that bad things do not happen to us ever. Yeah. Some, some grew up with that image, uh, and by the way, it is an easy one to, to grab onto, because when we were growing up, I don't know about you, it seems like all over the world, all over the world, children fear darkness, right? Darkness, when it's dark, uh, it, it's, it's just amazing. Something happens that we, we are always asking our parents, to check and make sure that there's nothing under the bed. <laughs> and some of us as children used to tell our parents, like, uh, we leave the light on. There's something about the, the light. But and so the image of God is God who 
protect you against all uh, bad things at, at all. Uh, and as we grow up, sometimes we see bad things happening and we say, well, then God is not real. Well, this is not a true image of our God. God is there with us even when we're going through some difficult times. And it doesn't mean that we'll never go through difficult times. Christians throughout the ages have had to struggle. It, just righteous people have had to struggle, right? The prophets in the Old Testament had a very rough time. If you're a prophet, you are telling powerful people, stop doing what you're doing. Well, you did not, uh, you were not very popular if you're a prophet. So that's one of the, the images of God we need to help people get away from, even we ourselves. And then um, another image of God is on-demand God. So, uh, you know, God is uh, one where something bad begins to happen, you cry quickly and, and you expect him to be right there. Sometimes we've been brought up with this idea that call on God whenever you're in it. Well, in fact, even now, some of us still preach that, but it, we need to be careful not, not to give the impression that uh, our God is an on-demand God in the sense that he jumps at our beck and call. No, God will be there to work with you in his will. And it doesn't mean that, uh, that he will always answer your prayers positively or the way you want it to be. Uh, then uh, a third image of God uh, you know, is, is a boyfriend God or something like that. Okay, uh, is, is he, he promises that you will always feel his presence. <laughs> and you're very intimate, you always feel that God is present. If you don't feel that, then there's something wrong. But that's a weird way to think about what we see in scripture. There are times when even the prophets would pray to God and, uh, and, and, and say, please sustain my belief that you are with me. Because in fact, God is with us. Uh, St. Augustine says it, and I think Paul uh, said it earlier, that God is closer to you than you are to yourself. But uh, so the, uh, the idea that uh, you, know, you, you treat God as a boyfriend person that will always be manifesting themselves to you, full presence is probably not an accurate image because God is spirit. Even when God is working, uh, sometimes we don't know. But if we believe that, like Jesus did, meaning just look at Jesus and see how Jesus treated God. Remember when he would be in crowds, uh, he would be talking to people and then somebody would come with a prayer and then Jesus would uh, every once in a while turn to, to, to the heavens and say, dear father, uh, thank you for this child you've given me. Please grant what they're praying for. See, Jesus would talk to God being present right there. We should do the same. God is with us all the time, even when we do not recognize that God is there. See, that's the point. It's, uh, uh, from that, some of us have uh, uh, used that this funny phrase that uh, uh, lovers sometimes tell each other, how can I miss you if you don't go away? <laughs> uh, no, God is there all the time. Even when you don't sense him, God is there. And this is really what faith means, isn't it? See, faith means having that radical belief that God is with me. And <laughs> do good things when, I, when there's something difficult to be done, I need to do it in the name of God. Okay, uh, oh, most of you have had children. Okay. Uh, Jeannie is there. Uh, Lisa is raising a young, young, young girl, young woman. Uh, you know, when we are raising our children, uh, it, it, it is you need to pray for for grace and wisdom. 
because what we share with them shapes what they will be in the future. And, and it takes, we need the guidance of God in order to actually guide our children because it is very hard. And, and if you say a rash word that will destroy them, then you haven't done well. But uh, you, you probably know, uh, mine are just growing. They are getting to adult age, okay? Uh, it is very difficult because quite often uh, they, well, I, I probably did this too. They usually think they know better than their parents. <laughs> And they will argue. And, and, and now, do you know what sort of patience it takes not to say a hurtful thing? This is an example. In, in, in relationships, husband and wife, brother and sister, we need God to be with us to give us, you know, the, that little extra that we need in order to be who Christ wants us to be. And so we, we can go down several other images of God that are prevailing out there, that when people re reject uh, church or, or Jesus Christ, they are rejecting a false image of God. Uh, and, 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 and so one of the, the ones that uh, atheists, at least in philosophy of religion, atheists have used a lot is to say, you know, if God exists, how, why, why is there so much suffering? You've had that one before, right? Okay, but then uh, some of our friends, theologians have said, where did they get, get that image from? The Bible doesn't say that if you believe, there will never ever be problems. And yet this is thrown at us. Uh, but when we when think we are going through difficult issues, God is with us to guide us. And the point is this, that as you go through the struggle, when you emerge from the struggle, it is important that you're not an empty shell, meaning your, your soul has not been destroyed. It, you need to be intact. That's what God does for us, to be strong enough to know that God is with us. And so when you get a chance, uh, read Canticle 21 again and see how it blesses you and say, how can I share the message of Christ so that we will draw people to God. Uh, one of the most wonderful things that happens at St. Bartholomew's is, uh, we have to repeat, is the community lunch. You don't actually have to tell anybody that this is, this is funded by the church and all that is responsible. People know that by doing what we do, we are sending out a message. We are interested in, in the health of the community. And so these little symbols are, are very, very powerful. We, we, we need to remember, for example, that Jesus, did, when Jesus went around preaching, uh, did he tell them, okay, all of you come to Bethany where we will build a big temple uh, and you need to belong to this temple. Did he say that? Jeff, did he do that? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. He didn't ask them to come to church. But guess what? They looked at him and said, oh my goodness, this is, this, there is an authenticity with this man that is nothing we've seen before. The rabbis want, want us to be converted. The rabbis want our tithes and all that. He just preaches the gospel and then he goes his own way. And what happened? Remember? Christianity is about paradigms of paradox. Exactly what the rabbis would have wished happening started happening to Jesus. Jesus did not tell them to come to him, but guess what? They kept following him. You remember? Two or three, four times he, he, he disappears and tries to sneak to the other side of the sea. And when he got there, Jenny, what happened? The crowd were already they were there the they were, he couldn't yes. get away yes they followed him because they saw this is what the church needs to be we need to be people who people can see and, and say they are really doing god's work and we will draw people to god 
the, the, the lessons today are powerful in the sense of, remember, the, uh, the, the Old Testament is talking about God having restored Israel, right? Now they're feeling good and strong. And the question is, will they be faithful? And I trust as in the next uh, five or 10 years, as we continue to be faithful, as we continue to do things that show we love the community, we don't, uh, if people come into a church or a sanctuary, that's fine, but our goal is not that at all. Our goal is to show Jesus Christ. And when we show Jesus Christ, you've got many young people are not coming to church at all uh, because it, it doesn't, they say it doesn't speak to them. So uh, beginning, uh, in, or, or maybe on Monday or tomorrow, uh, all of you are, uh, by the dictate of Lisa Joseph, all of you are on the evangelism team. Okay, so, uh, and Lisa and Anna Dees and I have been sharing every once in a while things that we need to do. And then, uh, thank God that uh, Terry Transu is going to join Anna and I as, as Lisa, you know, takes care of some other heavy schedules. But we, the whole congregation needs to be evangelists, okay? The whole congregation, ask yourself, what is it I can do to show the love of Christ that it will draw people to, to Christ? Not to St. Bartholomew's, but to Christ. And what is it they would be saying? They would say, oh my goodness, that is so kind, that's so wonderful. When people say that, they are raising glory to God. So I, I am uh, praying that God will make St. Bartholomew's a wonderful place where people feel blessed, they feel the love of God, and whatever else happens with them, God will be in charge. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Marilyn and Mary. Uh, Mary, is, is Mary with us here? It's okay. okay. The affirmation. We believe in the word. The word was that was first, that was present with God, that was God. Everything was, cre was created through his word. Nothing, not one thing came into being without the word. What came into existence was life and the life was light for all people to live by. This life light blazed forth out of the darkness and the darkness could not put it out. The light entered the world, shining brightly for all to see, but the world did not even notice. The light's own people rejected him, but others, the ones who were grateful for the light and followed it, became children of God. The word became flesh and moved into our neighborhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, and the glory was life and light of the world. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day, we bless you. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Put, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. The Lord be with you. 
And also, and also let, you. let us continue to pray. O oh God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may show the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our human nature, your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such a blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 A colleague for peace. O oh God, the author of peace, and lover of concord. To know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Mm -hmm. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And now as we go to uh, our prayer list this week, if, uh, if um, after I met, we mentioned those names highlighted there, if you have others that you know need to be added, please add there. This week we remember Julia Baker continuing uh, our treatments. We pray for the family of Jenny D. Word. Yes. Thank you, Jenny, for sharing that uh, um, uh, it, uh, Nick is yeah, his, uh, his home. He's home with his wife. Yes. Uh, he will continue his treatment on an outpatient basis, but mm. he's just very, very happy to be home. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. I ask you also to continue praying for Cynthia McMahon. For our family and friends, uh, we have Alice Carlton, Britt Sanders Memorial, Charlie Sanders, Ian and Anne Schiller, Carolyn Wilt. Carolyn Wilt, yes, yes, thank you. Yes, Aaron Berenger. Mm. Jose Ramon Hernandez and Janet Brady Bridges. Mm. And Gina, who's on the prayer list, has recovered well and what? home after her heart surgery. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. For Ken uh, Carroll. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You feel. <clears throat> Lucille Berenger. My sister Erin and my son Brett, that they may recover quickly from COVID. For our great niece Calder, who was diagnosed yesterday with COVID, and for our nephew Jim and his family, who both all have COVID. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. And now let's pray for those in the military and all in harm's way. Uh, if you could help me say the first names, please. Andrew. Andrew. Ryan. Ryan. Casey. Casey. Connor. Peggy. Carl. Colin. Douglas. Douglas. William. Uh, 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 Dylan and David. Damien. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any others that you know who want to add to those in harm's way? We want to continue uh, praying for 
uh, the situation in the Middle East, in Iraq and Iran. We're also praying for all who are ailing with COVID-19. Pray for all who have died due to COVID-19. We pray we for pray all. pray that everything stays peaceful and safe in Washington, D.C. this week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. We pray for all ministering to victims of COVID-19. Lisa will lead us in prayer. Sanctify, O Lord, those whom you have called to the study and practice of the arts of healing and to the prevention of disease and pain. Strengthen them by your life-giving spirit, that by their ministries, the health of the community may be promoted and your creation glorified. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break mm. down the walls that separate us. Mm. Unite us in bonds of love. And work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <coughs> A prayer for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 A prayer for our country. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people the multitudes who brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. And do with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail, all which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A prayer for schools and colleges. O eternal God, bless all schools, colleges, and universities, especially in North Carolina, that we may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom. And grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> O oh God, <clears throat> our Heavenly Father, you have blessed us and given us dominion over all the earth. Increase our reverence before this mystery of life and give us new insight into your purposes for the human race and new wisdom and determination in making provision for its future in accordance with your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps, they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, <clears throat> for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. A prayer of St. Christophe. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, we'll be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, training us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thank you. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Very good. Uh, so first, let's do some uh, celebrations. Uh, uh, Alistair, is Daniel nearby? Call him so we can lay our hands on him. He is fast asleep, <laughs> Father. Oh, he is? Oh, good yes. Lord. Okay, uh, Michael, Michael, <laughs> Jackie, can you, uh, by the way, is there anybody else celebrating birthdays or uh, anniversary? Anniversary. Oh, good. Who said uh, anniversary? Joan and Sam. Oh, my goodness. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Congratulations. 59. Uh, 59 years. 59. Wow, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Praise oh, God. This is so, yes, that is so beautiful. That is great, great, great. Well, for Daniel and for, for John and Sam, uh, let's see, yes. Michael, your Thank kid, you. and take it away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for a birthday. Yes. Oh, God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray on your servant, Daniel, and others, as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Very good. Mary, uh, uh, any announcements? Uh, the vestry meeting will be on the 13th, virtually. Mm. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, just thank everybody for taking yeah. care of the church over the mm. Christmas season. And yeah. be well as everybody can. And uh, indeed, let's pray that we can have a transition of power that is uh, peaceful mm. and Please. helpful for everybody. So yeah. um, other than that, I, I have nothing particularly new. Uh, do we have the slate of vestry people set up? Uh, yeah, we, I have one more person to ask, then we'll, it'll be concluded. But I need to ask, I've received some statements from the various candidates. Uh, and so um, I think after that, Mary, we will we'll let the congregation know when we plan to have the election.
It would be good to have um, yeah. the new vestry people for the 13th, if at all possible. Okay, by, by the 13th? Yeah, you got okay, that the next vestry meeting. Okay. And in theory, uh, those of us who are leaving <laughs> yes. have left. <laughs> I, I, yes, I, I know, I know, uh, yeah, I, uh, this is, uh, it is called in theology, in Christianity, it's called Kairos. Kairos <laughs> is God's time. Yes, and, uh, definitely. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's God's time. And I Very don't know, be so eager. That's right. <laughs> and, and I don't know what, I don't know what COVID has done to us, but, but it has made us, um, uh, Really uh, postpone so many things. Uh, so I might, I might ask the industry to bear with us for just a week or two. Uh, but uh, we, we will eventually let you go. Uh, Please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. Uh, uh, but uh, part of the problem is that they have spoiled us. They have spoiled me. Uh, this 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 vestry this year has been just so wonderful. I don't really want them to go, uh, but uh, I think they've been praying hard to God, and uh, so we we will try, as Mary has indicated, we'll try very much to have these names all set. But we I don't know that we will have had an election by then, Mary. Will we? Let's try our best. <laughs> Let's try our best. Thank you. Okay. Uh, but it, but, but it, will, it will be soon. Uh, we'll just do it also the same as the diocese. They are, they are actually postponing quite a number of things. Uh, the, the, the annual meeting convention is what? In, in March, right? I think so. I don't remember. Yeah. I really yes. don't. So we, we, we move uh, things uh, that way uh, so that we, we give ourselves some time to be prayerful and also to protect each other. Uh, so we will, by the end of this week, we'll know who's on there to <laughs> let the congregation know. Uh, and- uh, Mary, we, question. Do, yes. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Do we have ACW this week? Person to ask would be- Molly. Molly. And uh -huh. um, she probably would like to have it. Uh, the honest answer is, I haven't heard. Yeah. Uh, CR, do you Thank know? you. CR, is she still there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, I have no idea. Um, we need to have it by Zoom. And uh -huh. I don't know uh, if how Molly is planning to do that, if she's okay. planning to do it. Um, okay. On another note, I yeah. have been praying about uh, putting myself forward to be to serve as clerk of your vestry. Oh my goodness! Our vestry. Oh, yes. And so I'm. I want to explore that as to how it would work. Um. So, you know, I'll be in touch with you, Mary. I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank yes. you very much for considering. Thank you, that. thank you, thank you for suggesting. You are. It would yes. be fan, it would be fantastic because you took short notes, I took long notes, uh -huh. and, and I know they will be thrilled. <laughs> All right, you did a great job, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful, and uh, and and uh, yeah, and Sia has already been, so she knows what it is like. Uh, but thank you so much, Sia. Uh, um, I, I think we'll, we'll be glad to, to get your, your formal uh, 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 statement of interest, <laughs> and then we'll make a, a unanimous vote. I say yes. Thank you, Sia. We'll, we'll be getting back to you. All right. Thank All right. you. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. Other, other announcements uh, as we, as, yes, Terry. I, I'd like to share with everybody out in our garden, uh, we've been remodeling the shed. Uh, as you know that Ron Tuttle stays there in the shed and uh, we've wanted to fix it up. And a gentleman named Mike Davis, not with our church, but he came forward to me and 
said that he wanted to donate a certain amount of money and another gentleman did and community lunch also for $200. And we're gonna fix that shed up so that it's closed in and it looks nice. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we can all feel better about that. Uh, Ron is kind of uh, the good Samaritan story right mm -hmm. in front of us all the time. And there's only so much that we can do because he will only allow so much. He wants to live how he wants to live and everybody goes along with that. But we're fixing that up and that'll be part of the improvement of the whole venue area. The venue is on schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start seeing some construction building at the end of January, early February, depending on weather. Yeah. And uh, I feel it's moving along really well. We, we made a decision to use the gates that are the entrance from Hank Street at the cemetery side that have been buried in the mud there mm -hmm. and closed up because of that driveway. Mm -hmm. And we're going to uh, repurpose them and take them down to the uh, lower gate exit area. And they're really gonna look beautiful. So they will be nice where we have other, uh, the wrought iron accents and we try to tie the property together real well. And we're still wanting the, the congregation to participate together to come up with a name for this venue. And the, the shorter the name, the better. Mm -hmm. And I'll just give you an example that we call, uh, I, I came up with Celebration Hill. Celebration Hill was a choice when you check it out, it's not being used in the area. That's an important thing. Yes. If you come up with a name that uh, you research enough to see that it's not being used over in Raleigh or Chapel Hill or someplace close by so that we can have when the name is said, it, it, it's our property name. Okay. So think of it that way and as far as the community lunch, uh, we'd also, if any of you have good recipes, mm -hmm. you see each day, e each week we come up with a new meal and uh, the cooks are very innovative, but <laughs> if you really start to repeat a, a lot. But if you have a good recipe, please give it to us and we'll see if we can scale it up to 150 because that's where we've been is 150. Right. Uh, each week. I'm yeah. pointing at my resident chef here. Yeah. <laughs> what, Just what, what happy to have what? any I help. I said I'm pointing at yeah. my resident chef. You've got lots of recipes. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, so help us with the name and help us with recipes. And, and we tried to do some different things uh, with the lunch. We did blessing of the animals and we did ask the bishop to come and he came and yeah. And there's different things because it doesn't seem like we're going inside very soon. So if you have ideas you think that people would enjoy in the in that fact that they're driving by and, and we're trying to wave and smile and give them a great meal and everything. But any ideas, as Father said earlier, that's yeah. our representation. And not everybody will be coming as a new member. Mm -hmm but uh, it does mean something to them and they know, they know where it's being supplied from and the spirit in which it comes. Yeah, very good. That's Thank the you. report. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Uh, good, uh, show me the gallery, Lisa. Where's the whole gallery? Uh, Wilbur. Oh, that's it. Wilbur, oh. yes, this yes. is Anna. Yes, Anna. Um, I mentioned my granddaughter's name during the prayer request, her name Erin yes. Beringer. Um, yes. She found a lump the other day. My family has a very heavy history of reproductive cancers. Mm. And so she's naturally really scared. Yeah. She was in, when she told me about it, she was in the process of trying to get an appointment for a mammogram. But to just really remember her, yes. I mean, she's a single mom and she's only 36. Yeah. And okay. she's just scared. What's your name again? Aaron. Yeah. What's your name? Aaron. 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 Yeah. Aaron. That, should be, yeah. that should be easy for me to remember. That's my sister's name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And then also. Who has a Thanksgiving that he wants to mention? I do. 
Yes. I thought you were going to thank uh, thank God that you can hear. Oh well, well yes. Uh, I, I I there. Well here. You don't need to show them. I know we're hearing aids. Jeannie is very thankful for these because I got uh, an appliance that goes along with these, yes. which turns these into Bluetooth receivers, and oh. I can listen tv when it's on mute instead of on volume like 65 or 70. <laughs> it's taken some getting to i'm like is yeah. he even in there it's just that's quiet. right that's right that's right <laughs> oh my god thank you it's good to hear that good to hear that Earl. thank uh, you yeah it's a good word <laughs> excellent excellent well, God bless everyone. Uh, I hope everyone, let me now ask for a special, special prayer. Uh, our dear sister, who's been going through so much, uh, Cynthia McMahon, she texted me on Thursday to say, uh, in addition to all the other things going on, uh, she was diagnosed positive for COVID. Oh. Oh. Uh, so I want you to pray for her, and this is uh, sensitive, uh, so uh, please pray, and pray for us, for Mary, me, and Michael as we minister to her, uh, because she has had just such a horrible time this past two years, uh, and I, we don't even know how she got that, because she, she's so careful. I mean, and uh, so this this virus is uh, really kind of uh, yeah. Okay, did somebody say something? Somebody said something. I didn't follow. Thank you, but but keep keep praying for her. Okay, pray for pray for yeah. her. Uh, and uh, Anna, Anna, if you could send me just an email to remind me to, or actually, say, could you send Dora yeah, yeah. an email to, to Aaron on the on the list of friends? Uh, so thank you so much, everybody. It is so good to see you all. I'm praying that God will continue to bless you and strengthen you as, uh, as you continue in this wonderful congregation of St. Bartholomew's, the small church that could, okay? This podcast is good. Praise God. Have a wonderful week. Thank I you. I think so. I can. Yeah. I think I can. Yeah. Yes. And 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 uh, and uh, uh, we have all our wonderful Zoom facilitators, and we have uh, a stellar uh, volunteer. So we have Lisa and Ashley, and now Jeff Clayton who can actually do Zoom for us, even when he's in Australia, okay? <laughs> but Jeff, can you guys send me to Australia? I'll gladly take a ticket when he comes to Just to, 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 to thank you all so much for this, this uh, making it possible for us to worship. Uh, I am praying that there will be no Zoom in heaven, but uh, you never know. <laughs> uh, uh, but but uh, uh, Lisa, thank you, thank you again for being there. Uh, you continue to be an incredible blessing. Wait a minute, could we have the beam us up, Scotty? Uh, Approach yes. to heaven? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, just be ready for anything, you see? Uh, <laughs> just be ready for anything because it'll be, it'll be more wonderful than we even imagine. So God bless you, everybody. Thank you all. Uh, Dave, Dave, Dave Matheson. Yeah, right, right here. Well, thank you, thank you. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. I hope you are too. I am doing well. I'm doing. Oh, by the way, yes, and I'm eating so well. I'm actually surprised that it is that food is good. Uh, <laughs> I've enjoyed eating. Um, I discovered. I, is it, say it again. You have now discovered this? <laughs> I have now discovered that. The doctor uh, sat me down and said, you're going to eat three meals a day and snacks in between. And I said, I, 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 yeah, anyway. So my dad, was, my eating schedule was terrible as Mary and Carolyn know, but uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, Dave, how is Catherine doing? She, she's doing well. Her uh, 
heart heart issue seems to be getting better. She just had another checkup last week, and okay. uh, it, it seems like the, the rhythm is returning to normal. So it looks like the surgeries have worked. Wonderful, Great. wonderful. We'll tell her we pray for her, and uh, uh, we praise God for all the work she does and uh, all the work you do too. So thank you, thank you, everybody. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to give us a call, give Mary a call, give Wilbur a call. If you need anything, if you have a question. And especially if you hear of somebody uh, that uh, is in a pastoral need or is in a certain condition, I want to encourage that. Many of you have been very good letting Mary and I know uh, what is going on. So thank you, God bless you, have a great week. You also. Thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Bye. God, God bless everybody. everybody. Debbie, tell, tell Kevin we miss him. Uh, yeah, yeah, is, is he all right though? Um, he's been sick. He yeah. he's uh, got a really bad sinus infection still. My goodness. And um, he's real dizzy. And he was going to try to get on this morning, but he just didn't. Yeah. Go on. Oh dear. Okay. Well, tell him you're praying for him. But, and, uh, thank uh, you. He's headed back to the doctor. So. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, and uh, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Love you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa.